Hi everyone, I'm Alal Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down You Can't Hurry Love. It goes just like this. Alright, for this first part, I'm going to break down for you the intro and also the verse. We're playing in the key of B flat. And for the chords, we're starting with a B flat major chord. Playing octave B flat on the left, D, F, and B flat right hand. After that, we're going up on the 4 chord, playing E flat, second inversion, octave E flat, B flat, D flat, and G. And then we have D minor, octave D, A, D, and F. Going up a fourth on G minor, octave G. B flat D G. That's G minor first inversion. And then to finish we have F. Also first inversion, octave F, A, C, and F. Okay, let's break down this intro. We're starting with this. So here we're simply going to replicate the bass line. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. And play it in octaves. So I have octave B flat here. And the rhythm goes as follows. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. Going to do that for four measures. One, two, three, four. And then right after that, we have D, F, and B flat played on the right hand. First beat. Going to play and break. Just like this. So we're going to play and break this B flat major, and that will start the section of the verse. So here we're starting the verse. And then what we're going to do is continue the pattern on the left. And then we're going to do the same rhythmic pattern now with the right hand, playing B flat. D and F. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. But at the end of it, on the end of the second beat, what we're going to do is play the notes on the right hand alone. On the third beat, the top note on the left. And then on the fourth, again, notes on the right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. So that's the pattern. up. One, two, three, four. Okay, after that we're going to continue with E flat. Back to B flat. So here we have the full chord of E flat played twice. And then before going back to E flat, Sorry, before going back to B flat, I'm going to replay the low E flat I have on my left. Okay, like this. Now 
now back on B flat, I'm going to play twice the note on my right hand, the top note on my left, again the note on my right hand. One more time. Then we have this. So the movement goes from D minor to G minor, and then we're going to end with E flat up to F. So on D minor, just like we did on E flat, we're going to play the full chord twice. Then replay the bottom note before going to the next one, G minor. Then here on G minor, I'm going to replay the notes on my right hand, so B flat, D and G twice, and then the tap note on the left, G, and again the notes on the right. Then to finish, I have... We're playing the E flat major chord three times and then up on F. Then basically here I'm playing the pattern I had on B flat. Now I'm playing it over E flat and F major. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. So towards the end I'm playing the notes on the right hand the tap note on the left, and again, the note on the right hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four. That's how the intro and the verse go. Here it is again. Two, three, four, intro. E flat, E flat, E flat, F. And then here we're starting the section of the chorus, and we're going to see that in part two. For now, let's recap. That's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.